chosen ones i defined that beings like gods and goddesses welcome to the channel universe it's me juju welcome to the channel which will help you to uplift your inner person and your universe within welcome today it's all about what's coming on the 31st of august the 31st of August is going to be like a spectacular full moon, a super full moon. And it's also being called the full blue moon. So prepare yourselves to do whatever it is you want on this full moon um, day. And like I always say, this full moon energy, you can feel it, you can sense it, you can embody it three days before the actual date of the full moon and also three days after so you can always tap into this energy embody this energy of these full moons this is like the last full super full moon so if you did not use or embody the energy and if you did not utilize um, the energy of the, the full moons, the super full moons that happened previous. So um, like for instance, the full super full moon that we had on the 1st of August, then this is your time to utilize this energy for whatever you want. Full moons is all about our emotions. Um, where is your emotion at this time? You wouldn't want or we wouldn't want to have our emotions emotions in a low vibrational state. So full moons is to try to be and focus and be more in a space of joyfulness. Be in a space of um, tapping into your higher self, your higher awareness and consciousness and trying to create a reality that has to do with a positive frequency and vibration. So on the 31st of August, like I already said, 2023, we are having this super powerful full moon, the full blue moon in the water sign Pisces. Yeah, um, moon, the full moon yeah, in Pisces has... The greatest, greatest sensitivity and perceptiveness of surroundings. Yeah. So this full moon, this super full moon, blue moon is going to be in the water sign Pisces. You can experience feelings of insecurity. So be aware of that. Um, you can be a passive and only... Um, you know, be passive and, and, and only wait and see what will happen, yeah, in your life. Um, like I already said, um, try to embody more positive vibration and frequency when it comes to the full moons because it's all about our emotions. Try to tap more into feeling happy, feeling joyful. Go to your joyful space. If you have to release something, release it, but don't dwell in it. Don't let it slow you down. Yeah, so see what life has to offer you. Um, if you engage in a creative or spiritual search, you will benefit from great imagination when it comes to the Pisces energy. This mystical full moon, like they also call it, in the Pisces um, energy and the Pisces uh, uh, water sign, um, it will encourage us to broaden our thoughts and embrace our feelings and open our minds yeah because when it comes to pisces this water sign it's also about your third eye third eye is very powerful and important um, when you are on your spiritual journey to activate it to open it 
so that you can have um, more uh, you can embody more this energy of your higher self and tap more into your higher self to for you to you know go on that inner journey um, to find out more about yourself and um, you can use this powerful full moon for um, for this because this full moon is in the water sign Pisces a blue moon is quite rare it doesn't happen a lot and um, it's happening when two full moons occur within the same month like um, in this month of August we had a full moon a super full moon at the beginning of the month and now we are all also gonna close the month with a super full moon yeah so when that happens in the same month then you can um, speak about like um, you know a, a blue moon so that's why we are having a um, super blue full moon in the end of August on the 31st of August so it doesn't happen um, it doesn't happen a lot but because normally we only have um, every 20 days we have like a full moon every month so it doesn't occur a lot uh, let's delve into um, what a full moon in Pisces signifies so what does it have to <laughs> offer us um, it occurs during the time of the Virgo season. Yeah, so these are like um, balancing each other out. Yeah, it happens in the Virgo season. And Virgos um, are more about practicality and detail, you know, that you focus on energy, um, energies that are surrounding you. So Virgo's practical and detail focused energy is dominant at this time. Yeah, Virgo, um, Pisces is quite different. So they are like opposite um, of each other. It's all about, um, when it comes to the Pisces, it's all about creativity and your imagination. Yeah, um, but Virgo is about logic, practical, logical thinking. Um, and Pisces is also about your emotions and your intuitions so during this full moon we can expect the shifts uh, from Virgo's structured uh, approach to Pisces creative and transformative vibe so this is gonna be like balancing of a scale try to balance your logical thinking with your emotions yeah emotions because of the full moon and Virgo being in the sun. Um, so you have to balance these two out. Um, and, um, you know, your emotions and intuition, you have to balance it out with logical. Um, because in this Virgo season, yeah, um, our thoughts tend to be practical and straightforward. Yeah, you're just going to say things that you are feeling at that moment. Um, but try to also be a little bit more intuitive and also emotional. That it won't be too, you know, practical, logical and too, let's say, um, without feeling towards other people. So try to balance these emotions out embrace your emotions and connect on a deeper and more intuitive level yeah this full moon might stir up emotions um, so stay responsible when it comes to your actions and when you are setting things emotions in motion try to be responsible try to be mature and grounded in your reality yeah, um, the organs that have to do or that are influenced by Pisces are feet, toes. So stay grounded, stay grounded and um, close to yourself. Yeah, and walk barefoot on the soil so that you can ground yourself. 
Yeah, grounding helps for us to be in a space of tranquility, in a space of um, at ease, at peace, and not um, being too straightforward that sometimes it can create conflict with one and another or with other people. So stay grounded. Um, another organ that's... Um, very important. There are more organs, but I'm only talking about the ones that are extremely important when it comes to um, your spirituality, your spirit, when it comes to you um, diving deep into your inner self. So your pineal gland is also very important. It also being influenced by Pisces. So sun gaze more, you know, go into nature, sun gaze during this uh, these days of this super powerful blue uh, full moon um, to yeah activate your third eye when you sun gaze your third eye will be activated it also cleanse detoxify um, it also um, you know declutters your third eye um, and why do i say that because and when you are on your spiritual journey, your inner journey, you want to tap into that higher consciousness. And by clearing, detoxifying your third eye, you're going to tap more into your higher consciousness and higher awareness. So if you want that, then it is time to start sun gazing, especially with this energy of Pisces being in this super powerful full blue moon. Um, crystals that we can use for this period is like lapis lazuli. Yeah, lapis lazuli is always good for manifestation. It's also good for your third eye. Um, moonstone, selenite, and labradorite. These three crystals, <clears throat> they harmonize with the moon. So it's also very good if you want to do rituals or <clears throat> um, if you want to be harmonized with this energy of this super powerful blue moon. Um, eat lots of vegetables, <clears throat> eat fruits, you know, To it, it has to be light food. It has to be light food because on this day you want to be more at ease, more at peace. You want your mind to be in a space of let's say um, peacefulness, quietness, stillness, so that you can ground, so that you can um, come to the realization of things that you want to leave behind and things that you want to set into motion or in your intentions that you want to um, set on this uh, full moon, um, super powerful full blue moon day and night um, also um, take your salt bath cleanse yourself cleanse yourself that also helps to cleanse your aura and the energy around you cleanse your space you know um, do all the things that you normally do on a full moon so that you can be open to receiving whatever it is that you want to receive um, whatever you want to manifest on this day, the full moon will be like 10 times more powerful than the normal full moons. So embody this energy, express your authentic self in a creative way, do some chanting, do some dancing, do some just be creative because you want to embody the Pisces energy and at the same time you want to embody by being practical, by being logic, um, by being yourself, by, by, by being your authentic self um, and also being straightforward when it comes to certain um, um, realities and things in your life. So balance them out and embody these both energies for them to work for you. Um, also, when it, when it is like a Pisces um, um, full moon, you also have to think about, for example, um, if you want to do some um, affirmations, you can also use certain affirmations like 
I know, um, I understand, I am divinely guided, I am mindful, present. Um, also, what I wanted to say is about um, what type of, um, let me say, what was it again? Um, yes, what type of frequency you can use on this day when it comes to um, the Pisces full moon. There are some, um, um, let me say, um, sound healing <clears throat> that we can use and that can also enhance um, the third eye chakra. Yeah, it will stimulate the third eye chakra <clears throat> when it comes to the note A. Yeah, A or La. This will activate um, your, your third eye chakra. When it comes to the OM, this will also um, activate your third eye chakra. And it, when, when it comes to frequency, when it comes to Hertz, 852, 852 Hertz, this is the type of um, sound you want to have around you when you want to do meditation, when you want to have just a moment of stillness and, and you want to activate your third eye chakra. Yeah, um, also aromatherapy, what you can burn on this day um, or even oils that you can use on this day um, are lavender, um, frankincense, rosemary, um, angelica root, peppermint, tea tree oil. These are some very nice um, aromas that you can use for aromatherapy. Like I already said, when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to foods that you can eat on this day and it has to be light food, then you can eat a lot of veggies, you can eat a lot of... Um, Fruits, and then I'll have to say fruits like berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, uh, lemons, um, grape juice, spirulina, raw cacao, coconut oil, um, hemp seed. You know, you can mix that and make some, 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 some smoothie with it. Um, there are a lot of things like purple kale. You can eat that. That's then a vegetable raisins, prunes, these are all things that you can use on this full moon date um, when it comes to nutrition and that has to do with the Pisces um, water sign, yeah, because you want to use whatever you can that has to do with the Pisces energy so that you can embody this energy better. Um, crystals, I already said lapis lazuli, you can also use amethyst, you can also use blue quartz, um, etc. etc. Um, to balance your third eye, yeah. Um, let's say no, a balanced third eye is by tapping into your intuition, using vision, so visualizing whatever you want to manifest. Um, Go on an inner journey, inner wisdom, imagination, being creative. So your creative energy, you want to use that. Um, trust, focus, and motivation all have to do with the Pisces. Yeah, Pisces uh, um, has to do with your third eye. So um, affirmations that we can use on this day to embody this energy of this super full blue moon in the water sign Pisces will be, I follow my intuitive inner guidance. I am healing my mind, body, and soul. I flow with the universe and trust its guidance. I create my reality. I listen to my most profound wisdom your inner wisdom. I nurture my spirit. I love and accept myself, your unique self. Yeah, I am connected to 
the understanding of the universe. So this is um, what you, you know, what you can do to embody this energy of this super full blue moon in the water sign Pisces. And with that being said, I'm going to wish you a very powerful, blissful and peaceful full moon. Thank you for watching and have a peaceful and blissful day.